yo guys what's going on it is me klv and in today's video i want to show you this inaris build now i don't have the inaris prime i'm currently building it just waiting to try and get some ignite extracts and um so yeah you don't have to use a prime version it, obviously it will be better because you'd have more formula and everything on to put on but this build is actually really fun and it is just ridiculous so we are using the subsume warframe ability warcry now warcry is an amazing ability you get armor increase and you also get melee speed increase and obviously melee is the best like weapon type in the game in my opinion especially the chronium prime the chronium prime is the most op as weapon i can say every single time and um having obviously increased attack speed is just going to help out a ton so having that is a nice and also having armor increase is very nice so this build basically you want to have energy energy is going to be really easy to get you want to have health you want to have armor you're going to have adaptation so we'll, we'll just go through all the mods real quick We've got Rage on here so we can get energy really easy by just taking damage. We have Streamline on here so we are so the stuff is easy to cast and we have to get cost, not as much. We have Vitality on here for health. We have um, we have Steel Fiber for armor. Blind Rage for that strength, so 72% strength, mainly for our war cry, so it gives us a decent amount of armor and a nice amount of attack speed. We have Eternal War on here, so our war cry never runs out we don't have to keep recasting it so this is a mod that you definitely do need because every time you get a kill with a melee the timer on that war cry goes up by two seconds now there is still a cap to it it doesn't go on forever so it's like seven thousand seconds or something like that there is still a cap to it but basically killing an enemy makes it go up by two seconds when you're using a melee so definitely a mod that you want to use with using war cry so make sure you are using this mod quick thinking is a really good mod to use on this build because you're not really using many abilities now at the later games when i was going for about when i was going for about an hour i was using the first ability quite a bit and i still wasn't running out of energy because of rage so if you have rage then quick thinking then you're not going to run out of energy so having quick thinking is basically just having like a second life so and then we have adaptation on here so we get damage resistance and be more tankier for the arcanes we have arcane guardian arcane fury Arcane Fury, just so we have that attack damage. So we have more more damage on critical hit. We get a 40% chance for 120% melee damage. Now, if you have a higher one, then obviously it's going to be more better. But rank three is not a bad one. And basically, we are always going to have this 120% melee damage because we are always going to be critting. So with Arcane Guardian, when we take damage on damage, it's 10% chance for 600 plus armor for 20 seconds. So a nice build to have right there. So a nice amount of armor. We have got an, obviously an armor boost of 86%, a melee increase of 51% and a speed increase by 51%. But I believe you have to have a decent amount of range for that. So for the weapons that we used, we used the Cuban Nucor again. We used the Corrosive one, because I'll talk about why we use the Corrosive one. We'll talk about melee, because there's a mod that we need on there. We have Hornet Strike on here. We have Confusion for the electricity. If you have a 60-60, you can use it if you want to. I just prefer using this one. We've got Shaw Sharp on here for just a status chance. So we are always getting the status 100%. Pistol President, so that's 60-60 mod to get a Corrosive. Barrel Diffusion for Multi-Shot. Lethal Torrent for Fire Rate and Multi-Shot. And then Anemic Agility for the Fire Rate. And then we've got Auger Pact on here for that 90% damage. Now, the reason why I went Corrosive on this one and Viral on my Cronin Prime is because of Condition Overload. So now this is a really good mod, especially for later in the game. So you get plus 120% melee, da melee damage per status type affecting the target. So if there's an enemy, say there's just an enemy in front of you, it's got Corrosive and Radiation from my new core, that's 240% melee damage that we get because that's that he has two status types on that enemy so then obviously when we're attacking them we're going to obviously proc slash and viral on them because we have a we have weak wounds we're going to always guarantee that status so we're going to basically get tons of damage from that definitely a mod that you want to have if you're playing steel path 100 percent need it you probably don't really need it if you're playing like easy in the, the norm, not hard mode modes because Basically, you're mo more likely to one-shot them anyway. Uh, when I was playing, when I was doing like some like relic runs, I was more or less was one-shot on them with this build, and, and yeah. So, so prime reach on here for the range, berserker for the attack speed because nothing wrong with having a nice amount of attack speed. Very good scourge for this uh, toxin damage, 
We have Blood Rush on here so we can get that crit chance, we get up to about orange crits. Healing Return, so we can just basically keep healing. This is a really good mod, especially to use on Anaris because you're more or less in invincible, basically. If you are attacking people, you are always going to be gaining health. You're going to be always taking health, or it's going to give you that energy, and you're always going to be regaining it like that. Now, I know you can he you can heal by using your first and just uh, do the finisher on them, but I believe you have to kill them, and in hard mode, you have to have like a finisher build on, because when I was doing finishers, I was doing like at least like half the health, because I didn't have a finisher build on. So, that's not really a good one. You can also use the second ability on an R as well, kind of heal them, but that takes quite a little bit of time, and this is probably like the fastest way to heal with this build so we have vicious frost on here so we can get that viral it's a 60 60 mod so we get more status as well we have weeping wounds on here so we can get more status chance now if you do have a riven or if you're looking for a riven for Cronin prime they are kind of expensive the Cronin rivens are so if you get a roll one what i recommend try and get you try and get one with a status what is something with viral so for example virulent scourge with toxin or cold or something like that then i'll try and get range and and attack speed the reason why is so that you can take off if you get a range one you could probably take off that if you want to or you can take off that if you want to and then obviously yeah so that if you get attack speed you can take off berserker obviously if it's more than 75 percent if you get a primary if you get one with range then obviously you can take the range one off and then yeah so basically you can just take some off mods if you get that so if you get for example these three right here if you get one that's got all these three on, so attack speed, toxin, and uh, range, then you can take all these three mods off and you got two mod extra spots. Now, I do want to say, if you are using prime pressure point or sacrificial pressure point with condition overload, it doesn't actually work as well. It doesn't, there's like a max cap on how much melee damage you can do. So having these two on doesn't like affect it that much. So don't put prime pressure point and, and sacrificial pressure point on because they don't actually help out as much as you actually think. That it kind of makes it worse with condition overload on. But yeah, that's basically been it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I very much appreciate it. Try to get to try to get to at least 600 subs by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.